and general feel from people. Okay. Well, with the strings, I think it would be nice if we could just poco vibrato. Not a full vibrato, not nothing. It's non-vibrato with a little warmth. And it's a detaché stroke, very tenuto. So you're, mm. it's separate strokes, but you're trying to keep them connected. Mm. Same thing with the winds, basically. The winds, it's, it's, not a, it's not a dash, it's not a dot, but it's closer to a dash. It's just basically sustained. It's basically tenuto. Let's just try the string sound. Um, maybe going from... Uh, 102. 98. Shall we just do the first group again then? So first violin with the viola and the first piano and vibes. This is the upbeat to 102. The... Oh. Firstly, it's fantastic to be working with the Ensemble Modern. They make such a good sound and such an exciting sound. Straight away, you feel there's something really alive and, you know, happening here. And uh, whilst we're working on the rhythmic detail, particularly the, um, the sort of rhythmic basis that comes from the two pianos and the two vibes, once we get a sense of that, I think things will begin to hang together more and more. And, uh, yeah, we just want to work now, sort of calmly get people to feel um, where each beat really is, you know, and, and how they work together so they get a sense of, of ease within the ensemble so they're not all sort of fighting to get to the next beat. Uh, and, you know, that I think it'll settle down very quickly. But it's a lovely piece. I'm really enjoying the sounds that he makes, you know, and the use of the orchestra is great. Yeah, well, I grew up on the Upper West Side, um, around Broadway and West End Avenue and Riverside Drive in the 80s. And uh, at that period of time, um, it's a totally safe area. I used to play what they call stoop wall. You throw a ball up against the side of a uh, stair, a concrete stair. And three people stand out. And if it bounces once, it's one base hits. Two bounces, three. Two bases, three, three. If you hit the other wall, it's a home run. <laughs> Actually, there are a lot of people that have influenced me. I mean, when I was uh, a child, I, I took piano lessons where basically I was playing simplified versions of Haydn, Mozart, and so on. I didn't hear any music from 1750s. I didn't hear any Baroque music or earlier. I didn't hear any 20th century music until I was 14. And then very quickly, I heard the Rite of Spring by Stravinsky. I heard the Fifth Band of Concerto by Bach, and I heard Kenny Clark and Miles Davis and Charlie Parker. And it was as if someone said, look, here's a room you didn't see. And in a sense, I went in that room and I've never left. That's the music that began. Then later there was John Coltrane had a tremendous effect on me. Uh, Bella Bartok had a huge effect on me. Um, African drumming that I studied in Ghana had a big effect. Balinese mallet playing that I studied in the early 70s. The Hebrew cantillation. Um, other artists, like William Carlos Williams, that I've admired enormously and wanted to set the music. Writers like Herman Melville have formed what I consider the American uh, uh, perspective on life. Same thing, 808. Uh, I'd like to do the pianos and woodwind, please, and the vibes. 
808. Piano's woodwind vibes. One. <laughs> Eight three three. Eight three three. Yeah, that's great, that's great. So it just has a sense of life to it. Good. Um, may I now do the pianos, please? But everybody's still playing, you know, winds and uh, the pianos are got it right, but the winds are playing too short. Ba -ba. Right. Okay. Da da. The, maybe she would a dash under over everything. Okay. All okay. the all this articulation. Dee da da. This, yeah. this da, 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 da da. Da da. Da da Okay. Da da di. Everything right. is longer. It's right. too picky, picky, picky. Maybe you yeah. can make it clear to them that really, it's, it's, you know, it's, 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 a, it's, a, straight, it's a rational change. Maybe I was even pushing it a bit, actually. That's good. That was okay. good. Right. That was good. All right. So good. If in doubt, push it a bit. Okay. Herman, please, the B flats. That's so important. The B flat. That should... Go from the B natural to the B flat. From the B natural, play the chord with the B natural, and then shift. Uh, we just practiced. We started with running through the third movement. We right. practiced the fourth movement. How'd the fourth movement go? Fine. Did you get a nice thing with the strings with this yeah. little lift to it? Yeah, yeah. That da -da -da -da. Yeah. And yeah. get rid of the dots. Yeah. The dots were a mistake. Yeah. That worked really well. So there was some kind of forward motion there? Absolutely. And the vibes Absolutely. and the pianos were interlocking? Yeah, they were working. We practiced a little bit to get those to work. Yeah, that's, that's important. Yeah. And um, then we just practiced the fifth movement. Right. And we've been right through it and we worked on it. And yeah. it was absolutely great. It hammers this. The, 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 Robertson had the wrong, the wrong speed thing and he liked it. He liked the idea of just taking yeah. off with it. So I fixed it. He said, I'm still going to go fast. And it worked. It worked Good. great. Excellent. Yeah, because we were just So it's a real ABA yeah. with the B yeah. really taking off. Fine. Excellent. We'll do that now. Let's go see if it really works. <laughs>